Hi, everyone, and welcome to the next episode in my Christmas series. I will have a link to the playlist in my description box below if you missed any previous episodes. Today, we are creating some Christmas DIYs using items from Dollar Tree. I hope you find tons of inspiration and enjoy today's projects. For our first project, we are using this sign. This will become a two-sided sign. So we're gonna start off just by removing the hanger and we are using the 2023 Farmer's Market calendar from Dollar Tree. They have some beautiful pictures in here. We're gonna be using the one from December and we're gonna line that up on our sign, trace and cut that out. What I love about this sign from Dollar Tree is that it has those faux wood planks and it lines up absolutely perfectly with our calendar picture that has the faux wood. So once we have that lined up, we're going to then apply a thin layer of Mod Podge to the sign and press that down firmly. I just like to do one side at a time so I can make sure everything stays lined up. Now once my Mod Podge has dried, I'm going to take some brown acrylic paint and water that down so that I can go around the outside edging of the sign to match the distressed look on the calendar picture itself. Because it's watered down, it's gonna give it a little bit more of a worn look, so that's gonna be really pretty. And we're gonna fill in that hole at the top with a white paint pen. Now, once all of your acrylic paint has dried, you can then take the end of your paintbrush and poke that through the holes that were already in the sign and then reattach your hanger that came on the sign or like I did, just add a new one because I wanted it to be a little bit longer. Now you have a gorgeous two-sided Christmas sign. For our next project, we are using some of Dollar Tree's ornaments. This is a pack of seven. You'll need two packs of these, as well as one of their plastic plates. This measures about five and three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna take each one of those and alternate them, place them around the plate, and then I'm going to hot glue each one of them to the next one. I'm not gluing it to the plate. I'm just using that as a template to make sure that I get a nice, perfect circle. Once I have each one of those glued together, I'm going to also be using some of Dollar Tree's pack of 12 ornaments. You will need three packs of these. I'm going to place these in between each one of the larger ornaments until I go completely around that one time. Then I'm going to make another layer of these small ornaments on top of that, centering it between those two ornaments on the bottom. Once I have that third row done, I'm going to take some of the larger ornaments and then alternate between the larger and smaller ornaments just to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'll make one round with those and then I'll make two more rounds with just the smaller ornaments. Now I did have to add in a couple of large ones here and there just to kind of fill it in, but I do recommend using just the smaller ones for the last two layers. Then I have this ornament that I have had in my stash for a while, and I believe it came from Dollar Tree. I love the shape of this. I'm going to glue that directly to the top. Then using some of Dollar Tree's vase filler, we're going to glue these in between all of those extra spaces, and they have several different sizes in there. It's like a small, medium, and large in the white as well as the silver, and you can just place these throughout just to fill in those gaps. Now you have a gorgeous ornament Christmas tree.
If you are enjoying today's video and haven't done so already, please make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell right below this video. So you'll be reminded the next time I upload a brand new video. And if you'd like to visit me on my other social media accounts, all those links are in my description box below. I recently did a video with a DIY challenge and I used a shower curtain ring. So I have quite a few of these left over and I thought they would make beautiful Christmas ornaments. So I'm going to use some twine from Dollar Tree. This is the beautiful red and brown mixture. And I just wrapped a little bit of that around my finger so I wouldn't have to use the whole roll as I was trying to wrap this around the shower curtain ring. I'm going to start off by gluing it right there at the beginning where I opened it up at. And I'm going to wrap that around. I'm only going to hot glue it periodically. You don't have to glue it all the way around. And then once you get about a quarter of the way, you can actually just hold that open and then you can just wrap it very tightly all the way around until you get to the other end. Once I get to the other end, I am going to hot glue it a little bit before I actually close it together. And then once I pop that together, I'm going to wrap that center portion one time. And then once I get that wrapped through one time, I'm going to take a piece of that and glue it right in the center so that I can create the hanger. So you'll just hold that in place and then determine how long you want your hanger to be. And then you can glue the other side down on the opposite side of that. And then I could take that extra piece of twine and continue wrapping that around the center of the hanger. So once you get that wrapped around, you can hot glue that down and cut the excess off. And then because this has a lot of frayed parts, I'm going to very carefully take a lighter and singe those off so that it'll be nice and clean. Then we're going to use Dollar Tree's 2023 Farmer's Market Calendar again. I'm going to cut the small Christmas sign from the back. We're going to trace our ornament onto a piece of poster board just to make it a little bit thicker than just the calendar paper. We're going to cut that down a little bit smaller than our outline, and then we can use that as a guide to line up and trace and cut out the actual picture itself. Then we're gonna hot glue the picture to the poster board. Then we can place some hot glue on the back side of the ornament and then glue our picture directly to that face down. Then we're gonna flip that over and take a piece of twine, wrap that around the hanger at the bottom and just tie a simple bow. And what an inexpensive, beautiful way to make some Christmas ornaments. I love using these shower curtain rings, and I'm going to show you in our next two projects various ways that you can create beautiful ornaments with these. So our next one, we're going to use some of Dollar Tree's green twine, and we are going to wrap that around the shower curtain ring just like we did previously. Now, if you don't want to create the hanger using the strand that's already on there, then you can just cut an extra strand, tie that around, and double knot it, pull the knot down to the bottom, and then continue wrapping it around. That way you can have a better way of determining how long you want your hanger to be in case you didn't have enough extra twine as you were wrapping it around. Since I have some extra twine left over, from wrapping it around the shower curtain ring, I'm just gonna tie that around the bottom of the hanger, add a little bit of glue to reinforce it, and then just continue wrapping that around. So once I have that completely wrapped, we're gonna use some of Dollar Tree's beautiful bows that you can find in their Christmas section. They have these gorgeous green and red bows, and we're just gonna glue a red bow right to the top, and now this looks like a beautiful Christmas wreath. Now I'm using a piece of scrap microfiber cloth from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut that down about an inch and a half wide and about 10 inches long. I'm going to hot glue the long sides together, not the end pieces, just the long sides. And I'm going to let that glue set up. Then I'm going to open up that shower curtain ring and feed one end of that onto the shower curtain ring. And then just slide that all the way around until I have the ring completely covered. Now, if some of your end pieces are open, you can kind of glue those together 
but make sure that you go ahead and snap your shower curtain ring together. Then you can kind of slide those up right in the center for right now. To create the hanger, I'm going to use some of that green twine. Just fold that in half and feed the ends through the loop, and then I can double knot the ends of that and cut the excess off. Then we can attach one of those beautiful green bows right to the top using one of the tie straps that the bow came with. We're going to wrap that around the wreath and then we can hot glue our microfiber cloth together right in the center to make sure everything stays in place. For this project, we are using one of Dollar Tree's wood hanging palette signs. It is in their Dollar Tree Plus section for about $3. It has the slats on the back and it measures about 14 inches square. I gave mine two coats of white paint that I already had on hand and I'm using this stencil from Hobby Lobby. It has two stencils in one. It was $2.99 but I got it on sale. I'm going to tape those stencils down with the truck at the bottom and then Merry Christmas at the top. And then I'm taking some of that same white paint and going over both of these stencils just to help prevent any bleed through. You could also use Mod Podge for this. Once that dries, I'm going to take one of Dollar Tree's sponge applicators, dip this into my black paint. You don't want to put too much on there so that it seeps underneath the stencil, just enough to cover the letters. And I am applying this in an up and down motion. So I have painted all of my wording in black and then the tires in black. And then I am using an antique green. You can find this at Hobby Lobby. And I'm using that for the presents and the wreath on the front and crimson red chalk paint from Waverly for the rest of it. Now for the tiny intricate details, I did use a brush and didn't apply too much, but just enough to kind of stay in between the lines. And then I used that sponge for the larger portions. Now I'm going to remove my stencil, let it dry, and then do any type of touch-ups that I need to do. Like the lettering was not as crisp as I wanted it to be, so I do go over that with a fine paintbrush, as well as some of the details on the truck. So this is how it looks now that I've kind of cleaned everything up, and I'm going to let that dry completely. And we're using two of the Dollar Tree Mitten wood stickers. Now you're going to want to paint one on the back side and one on the front side. And we're going to paint that in some crimson chalk paint and allow that to dry. Now we're going to flip our sign over now that it's dry. And at the center at the top, we're going to glue a tumbling tower piece. Then we're going to line up our mittens around the center of the front of the sign and hot glue each one of these down. We are using one of Dollar Tree's Santa ornaments. He is so cute. And he has this thick plastic base at the bottom. So that's what we're going to use to attach to the top of the sign. That's why we added that tumbling tower piece. We're going to put a good amount of hot glue on there and then glue that right there at the front edge so that his beard kind of flows over the front of the sign. Then we're going to use two of Dollar Tree's skate ornaments. We're going to remove the greenery from the top. And then we're going to take a tumbling tower piece and kind of push that down towards the back into the styrofoam to make an indention so we can use our utility knife to kind of carve that out. And we're going to do that for both of those skates. Once we know that our tumbling tower pieces are about the same length, we're going to put a nice amount of hot glue in there and glue those in place. Once that has set up, we can then attach this to the bottom of the sign by hot gluing that tumbling tower piece to the back part of the sign. We're going to do that for both of our skates. So once you get those in place, this is what it's going to look like on the back side. Just make sure everything's nice and secure. Then we're going to take some polyfill to kind of hot glue right at the top of each one of the skates to cover up that styrofoam. Then to create the cuffs for the mittens, I'm taking some of that extra microfiber cloth that I already had on hand. I'm going to cut that down into two strips 
and then I'm going to hot glue that into a little more than a third. So I'm just going to hot glue that over and then glue the top piece over. So it'll be a nice strand for the cuffs. I'm going to do that for both of those. And then I'm going to hot glue it on each side of the mitten, not in the center, just on the outside edges so that I can kind of pinch that center up to make it look a little bit more realistic. We'll do that on both sides. Then we're going to take the greenery that we pulled off of the skates and I wanted to remove that white piece at the bottom. So when I cut that to take it off, it kind of came apart, but that's okay because that way I can glue it on here exactly the way I want to glue it. And it has these really pretty greenery and red berries and the pine cones. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now you can hang this up using the hanger that's already on there, but it also stands up on its own with those skates at the bottom. And it is over two feet tall. This turned out so precious. I love how this project turned out. And I hope you guys like it too. And if you have a favorite out of today's video, let me know in the comments down below. I always love to know which one is your favorite. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. Please take care and I will see you guys next time.